Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be going through the three Jean-Paul Gaultier Scandal Fragrances. If you're new here, then welcome to my channel. It's all about perfume. So do subscribe, join in the community in the comments down below. And I am uploading new perfume videos every week, sometimes two, three. Um, so subscribe to get all my latest rundowns of perfumes. And I do try and do your requests as well. So leave your requests in the comments below also. So I've just been to the department stores on Oxford Street here in London um, to check out the new Scandal release, which is Scandal à Paris, um, and compare it to the two previous versions of Scandal, the original and the By Night one. And I have to say, it isn't what I expected. The By Night one was quite different to the original, and I thought that the new our Paris one would also be different, but it wasn't that much. So let's take them one by one. So the original Scandal was a honey perfume. Quite unusual to have a perfume that's all about the honey like that. There was patchouli and caramel and some white florals in there, but effectively it was a quite sweet, um, sexy, sensual, sort of French boudoir type perfume. And I think hence the sort of legs on the bottle, like it's very female sexy type perfume. And then By Night, which came out in 2018, um, is actually my favorite of the three and I have it here and I'm also wearing it. And it's been quite a while since I sprayed this now and it's still really strong and I only did one spray and I can really smell it on my wrist as well. Um, basically what they did is they took the original and in my opinion, they made it better because they added tonka bean and they added cherry and the tonka beans really helped it last. The vanilla is coming through more and the cherry has made it it's a bit sweeter and again really help with the depth of fragrance. Really still get the honey vanilla but there's still the sweetness of the cherry and I think it's a much improved version. It's stronger, better lasting, it's a more interesting fragrance than the original. Even though the original for a sweet perfume was still pretty good for lasting, Jean-Paul Gaultier perfumes are usually pretty good for lasting. They're quite a good quality um, formulation that they make, in my opinion. Um, but I think By Night was even better. So for this new one, Apari, I thought, oh, I wonder what they're going to come up with this time. But basically what they've done with um, Scandal Apari is they've kind of stripped it back rather than making something new. So they've gone back to the original, stripped out a load of the middle and base notes and left just honey, pear and jasmine. And I'm kind of a bit like underwhelmed by it because it's like, okay, well we kind of already got that in the original. We got honey, pear, jasmine in the original, but there was also some other interesting notes. So why have you done this? Now don't get me wrong, honey, pear and jasmine is still a really nice combination of perfume notes and people are reacting to this and saying they like it and it is still nice just like the original but for me it's so close to the original. I'm not sure it's really a new perfume in its own right and I wish that some of the ingredients from By Night like the cherry and the tonka bean have been continued and perhaps they could have gone down some other route, gone into raspberry or got into more caramel or I don't know but instead stripping it back and basically making it this original but with a few less ingredients just seems a bit of a lazy perfume I guess. If you're a collector of Jean-Paul Gaultier then you know there's nothing wrong with getting this adding it to your collection it's still a pretty perfume it hasn't lasted as well on my skin as the By Night and the card is significantly like weaker than the by night one but again they have both stayed you know they're not awful at lasting at all um it's just a bit like uninspiring and there's not that much to say i mean three perfume ingredients is pretty basic and unusual anyway to have such a simple perfume but overall i'd say all three are along the same lines as your sort of ysl opium lancome trezor a bit like jean paul gaultier classique particularly the um by night one with the vanilla so if you like those type of perfumes then you'll probably like all three of these um and in my opinion 
opinion, the By Night one is the best. And now that it's like a year old, you can probably get it at quite good prices as well. As always, I'll leave the links where you can get these down below. UK and US links. Um, but that's it really. So have you tried it? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is your favourite by night like it is for me? And yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Scandal. If this video has been helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more of the same, and let me know your requests in the comments down below. But that's it. So thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!